Masha no liba that natural fruit the Lord, but Masha liba your word. Masha liba every of your word, every of your word, every of your word, every of your word. By strength shall no man prevail. O Lord God of hosts, let the people, let the people come out, O God, with your mind, with your strength, Lord, to receive, to participate into this global emancipation of the captives. And let them wash, O God, every form of bondage breaking and dissolving. Let your people, let the people, O God, let, your, let the outpouring of the Spirit, O God, be effective in the lives of the people. Let every one of them resist every evil work of the body, every wickedness. Because you minister to me that wickedness does not allow people to support good things. Wickedness does not allow people to support good things. They keep giving excuses. And that wickedness is the work of the devil. Lord, help the people to always see the light of the truth and make a step and resist every form of distraction, every form of discouragement. That is a step of wisdom. Help the people, oh God, to see the light of your word, the light of your presence, and resist every form and every work of the enemy. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. help them to resist wickedness. Wickedness does not allow people to speak out. They will be silent when they are needed to talk. But when they are not needed to talk, they will be backing. Help the people of oh God to emulate you, to present themselves as your source, as your children, as your image. To the O oh God, let every work of the enemy melt by fire. Let every work of the enemy against your people, let it, O oh God, dissolve. And let your people, O oh God, begin to exhibit. Let them exhume your work, your works. And let, let your works, O oh God, begin to manifest in the lives of your people Amen. in their five senses, in their spirit, soul, and body. Let everyone begin to witness because righteousness is believed in the heart. But with the right confession, is made unto salvation. Let he and she that says they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ resist every form of darkness Amen. from their rooms, from their inner room, from their offices, shop, and let them all come manifest because your word says that whoever denies you, you will deny him. Let the people not deny you. Amen. Let every one of them all be you resist every work of darkness and overcome by your strength and not by their strength. Thank you because at the end of today's program, Lord, everyone will be vindicated Amen. and people shall no longer live in oppression. But they will live, oh God, in absolute liberty. People shall walk in absolute liberty. When they come across attackers, attackers will melt before them. The bondages we make before them, there will be no power to stack your people. No power, Lord, shall stack your people. No power shall hinder the spirits of the body and the movement of your people into the eternal land, into the promised land. Let every bondage, visible and invisible, in the heart of everyone, in the eyes of everyone, in the spiritual and of everyone, within and around and ahead of everyone, O oh Lord, as I raise my hand, let them melt invisibly. Let it dissolve and melt. Let it dissolve and melt. And let your people see your salvation today. Let your people see your salvation today. Let your people see your salvation today. Oh Lord, my God. Let your people see us. Let those that have not bear fruits begin to bear fruits. Let your word, oh God, let people mostly appreciate your word and your spirit. And let those that have never bear fruits begin to bear fruits. Those that cannot bear fruits as a result of the work of the enemy, let them begin to bear fruits. All the ministers. Who doesn't bear children? Who doesn't bear children? Wife who cannot bear fruits of uh, uh, ma marriage, fruits of uh, marital fruitfulness, spiritual fruitfulness, economic fruitfulness, material fruitfulness, dominion, political fruitfulness. Lord, let every one of them appreciate your word and your spirit where they never appreciate it, and let them begin to bear fruits where they never bear fruits. Wow. Out of Egypt, you carry your soul. Let the people of God understand that 
everything they needed to survive and to succeed is in your word and in your spirit. Thank you because today is special in our lives. Today is special and every one of us will encounter deliverance. We receive instrument, equipment of deliverance and they will never live in oppression again. If you have come online and you are sharing the light of Jesus with me, I want you to decree that you will never live in oppression again. No power will oppress you. No power will be able to oppress you. Agree with me. Light does not hide. You are light. You cannot hide. You are light and you are not just a light. You are light of this world. You will not hide again. And no hand will hide you. No power will hide you. No stranger will hide you. No distraction. No deception. There is no enemy of righteousness that will hide you. None of you will hide again. I will continue to compare you until you become a fruitful person. Until you become a successful person, Godly in Christ Jesus. I will not leave you and I will not forsake you. I will trouble everyone that come across me, that I come across in this generation by my calling until they become fruitful to the kingdom. Your, your emergency, your business, from God, you are calling from the Almighty God here on earth. It shall not be even. It shall not be barren. It shall not be fertile. No power of darkness will deceive you anymore. You shall not live in oppression. You will live above oppression. Agree with me that no bondage again shall stand in your heart. Never. You will never see good in again and overlook it. You will never dream good in again and walk against it. You will live to manifest, to bear fruits of good gift and perfect gift and manifest it Amen. to God's glory. Every instrument of oppression in your life and family and generation and country is dissolved. I don't walk by sight. I walk by faith. I do not walk by the spirit of this world. I walk by the spirit of Almighty God. So child, you walk by faith. So child, you walk by the spirit of this of the Almighty God, not by the spirit of this world. Come online. Come online. Come and see Jesus. Come and see the Almighty God today. And let your life never remain the same. Whatever you were born with. Whatever your family were born with. Whatever your lineage of your father and you are going through that does not praise God, the end is here. Amen. I don't care what people have said. I don't care what enemy is doing. I care of what God says. I, I care about God's movement. Not the movement of the wicked one, which I know that is for a short time and you perishes. This is why I disturb everyone to be at the light and manifest the light. Understand me today when I'm talking about you, when I'm speaking to you, and speaking to you to be at the light and to manifest the light. Because I know who you are. You were made of the positive. You were not made of the negative. My friends, wherever you are, let every construction of bondage and captivity over you hear the voice of God today and let them begin to break into pieces, 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 break into pieces from foundation, from one who is a crying of the earth, from one who is a crying. Let every bondage that does not let you go, that does not let you manifest your purpose, your mandate from west, east, or south, far and near. Let me hear the voice of God today Amen. and let them dissolve. Let them dissolve. Amen. At the end of this program, let every part of your life be shut free. Amen. Not by power, not by mind, but by spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Let it be set free. Let it be set free. Let, the, let your belongings be set free. Amen. Let your exam be set free. Let your resource be set free. Amen. You're supposed to hold a peculiar resort today. 
people supposed to know you as someone that is bearing good gift and perfect gift. This is why I will continue to challenge you until I retire in the ministry. Mm -hmm. I will continue to trouble you. All the people that knows me, you will know that I always speak to encourage. I speak to make you fruitful. I speak to make a fear. I don't live a discouraged life. So wave your hands wherever you are. Stop hiding. I tell you today, stop hiding. We will tell you when to hide. But don't hide because of discouragement, because of the work of darkness. You are not a work of darkness. You are the work of God. And the son is saying that he is the apple of God's eye. You are the apple of God's eye. Why do you hide? Did any pastor, did any reverend father, did any man or woman test you to hide? Why are you hiding? But you don't hide on the things you're supposed to hide. Stop hiding so that the kingdom of heaven will not hide your glory. Stop hiding today. I just speaking to you, all the men and women that follows me in the ministry to worship the Almighty God. The enemy does not dominate them. They have dominion over the wicked one, except those that are said that with us, but that are not with us. Check every man or woman that are with me in the ministry to run the kingdom race to worship the Almighty God, the Spirit, and the truth. They live a protected life. They live under the influence of the bigger security of the watch of God and the, and, the, and, the, and the spirit of the Almighty God. Today, I'm going to release the equipments of uh, effective deliverance, liberation, and emancipation. These three words are almost, they are interwoven, almost certain, almost certain, almost certain, almost certain. So wherever you are, I know what you are going through. What you are going through is that you are under the influence of the of the government of this world and the press of this world. By the time your life will be translated from the powers of darkness into the kingdom of light, my friend, you will understand that living in Christ Jesus is the most perfect thing that can happen to you in life. To live in Christ Jesus. There is nothing in this world. Nothing is in this world. And men and women that are in this world will continue to disappoint you, to disappoint you, to disappoint you, try to frustrate you. Men and women that are not of this world, they don't frustrate good things. But those that are in this world, don't be scared. Somebody can use church to cover up, use Bible to cover up. By their force, you know that. But the man or woman that speak, out to the light, the truth, and they always speak at the truth. Go to that man or woman is a blessing. They are very scarce. I have met people who cannot boldly speak out, but they tell you they know everything. So this deliverance does not just come. God has handed over to me and you this planet Earth, and I will live to see you managing this earth and dominating this earth and living as the light of God. Please communicate and coordinate any man or woman. All the, all the people that you have not been able to communicate, can you do them favor? Can you do them favor? Do you know that when you want to bring people out of darkness, you will fight with them? They will fight you, they will worry with you because many of them are ignorance. When you are trying to make people rich, they will not be happy with you. When you are trying to pull people out of darkness, they will not be happy with you. I remember when I became born again, and around 4.30, 4 o'clock, I would be going to some people's room to knock at them and say, come out and let us pray that this family will not remain like this. Many times they quarrel with me, they became angry with me, for knocking at the door by 3 o'clock, by 4 o'clock, and saying, this family will not remain like this. We need a change. Along the line, the, I know if I accepted discouragement, you will see me today where I am. So I want you to know that the enemy will want to discourage you, will want to frustrate you. 
but today is going to be a special day. God is going to release his instrument to deliver us upon you. I want to see you succeeding. I want to hear that Jesus is manifesting in your life. I want to see you carrying out exploits. I may not gain anything out of it, but I want to succeed in compelling you to do what? To fulfill your mandate. Because you, we are not sent in this planet earth for nothing, ministers of God. Never again will the money move you. God will move you. Never again. You will move money. Money will not move you. Those things that most people cannot move you anymore. You will move them. Never. The whole spirit of God is upon your life. It is it, more than sufficient to move you. Let nothing move you except the spirit of God. So I want you to join me now. Connect your mother. Connect your father. Connect your wife. Connect your brother. And just say, I know what should a man, a man I want to share with every one of us. Well, a lot of us have tried to speak the truth and they silence you, isn't it? A lot of you have tried to help people to stand and they discourage you. Never you get discouraged because you want to get people to stand. You want to help people. You are speaking the truth to people. It is how the lies behaves. Many people have stopped doing good things today because of people's behavior. This option I'm releasing to you today will help you to finally raise a generation of Christ. Become a troublemaker today by refusing to relent in speaking the truth and making a step for the truth. Now, you will ask me, sir, I know some people who type and shout me and say, sir, what if they kill me? I will tell you what you do and they will not kill you. Be conscious of God's security when you are speaking the truth, when you are compelling people to do what? To make a step of righteousness and to make a step of fruitfulness. Always be conscious of God's security. Don't be absent. Don't be ignorant of it. Because people will like to kill you when they discover that you want to pull them out of darkness. They will try to kill you. I'm a witness. A lot of people today that are angry with some people today is because the people want to help them. The enemy, the powers of darkness that is at work in their life will not be happy with you. They will trigger them to fight you. I want you to get this wisdom. Is it your wife or your father or your mother or your sister that God wants you to use you to break out of darkness? He will be against you. She will be against you. But never you relent if you know that you are following me in the ministry and you know that there is always additional breakthrough in doing good. Additional breakthrough in walking in the light of God. Don't relent like others. Don't get discouraged like others. Don't get frustrated like others. Oh, they fought me. Because of what I said a few days ago, they, they warned me, they fought me, they, they attacked me. Yes, don't relent because of that attack. Don't relent because, if you relent because of that attack, I tell you, along the line, you will go back to the same level with them. They want you, the enemy, the forces of darkness that is oppressing them, don't want them to be out of the bandage. They want, they are, they, some of them are wives, some are husbands, some are my fathers, some are, some are their friends. They will like to pull you back for you to remain at the level. That, that same, that, what you call it, stagnation level, or that frustration level, or that's the, the level where you cannot move forward and you cannot move forward. I'm telling you today, I have come to the full age of life. If you know that what you are holding is of God, the word and the action and the project, don't look at the back. 
If you know that it is of the will of God, don't look at the back. It's a special day. I'm releasing and I'm sharing today the instruments of emancipation. Don't forget it's a season of extraordinary victory. What are you going to carry to live with that if you if you if you if you if you come out of the spirit of God and go into this world for two minutes? My friend, it will it will be it will take the grace of God for you to come back. A lot of things are there to discourage you. People die from the heart. People survive from the heart. To retreat verse 7. Proverbs. As he, she thinks in his heart, so he is. As he thinks in his heart, so he is. As he thinks, as she thinks in his heart, so he is. If she thinks negative in his heart, so she will be. If she take wickedness in his heart, so she will be. If she take frustrated in his heart, so she will be. If she takes rich, if she takes courage, and blessed in his or her, so she will be. The Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit lives in the heart. He also lives in the body. But this heart you are seeing, it has the mind, it has the soul, it controls the body. It, I mean, it is the, the center, the, the engine of your destiny is in the heart. Are you going for deliverance without knowing what you are going for? Are you going for deliverance without instrument? Are you embarking on instrument on deliverance ministry, sir? My friend, man, without the equipment of deliverance. Is it the reason why you are conducting deliverance and people are going to hell? And you are getting frustrated and frustrated and frustrated every day by day because you don't understand the meaning of deliverance or depression or emancipation. Hear the word of God. And be renewed today. Be transformed today. Be revived today. Be revived today. There is always instrument of liberty for me and you. There is always instrument of moving on. Protection for me and you. To deliver means to set free. To emancipate means to empower. To liberate means to set apart. To deliver means to uplift him. To deliver means to set him on success, on the track of success. To liberate means to make him fruitful, to make her fruitful. And henceforth, you are going to get the right instrument for emancipation. Now. I didn't say tomorrow. Now. You will stop living in oppressions from today. You will stop living in frustration from today. You will stop living in calamity from today. I will tell you what you do. If faithful refuse to come, you will command it. If help refuse to come, I will tell you what to do. You command it. God is not far away from us. It is you that is far away from God. God is not far away from you. Whenever the enemy is very close to your life, God will be far away from you. And wherever God is far, very close to your life, there will be no enemy found anywhere in your life. If God be for me, if God be for me, if God be for you, if this almighty God of heavens and earth and waters and dry land be for me and you, who will be against us? Who will? Except God has not been in your life. If God be in that country, who will be against them? Who will take pride and survive to dominate, to captivate? The economy of the country, the destiny of the country, if God be for that country, and God may be for that country, but the time has not come. And God may be with you, but the time has not come. But make sure that God is with you. It's a special day. With your hands, wherever you are, 
the ministry God has given to me is more than limitation. Certain, you can limit it. Nobody can limit it. Nobody can limit it. It's, it's a territorial ministry. It's a continental ministry. It's a universal ministry. It's a heavenly kingdom global ministry. I never see any power that can stop, that can stop, that can stack the ministry of God in my life. I've not seen that power. It's not born and it will not be born. I want you to understand that to whom much is given, much is spared of him. To whom much is given. People that are around you may neglect you. Don't get discouraged because people that are related to you are neglecting you. Don't get discouraged like others. Don't get, don't get frustrated like others. No, don't. Don't, don't make mistake to walk by side. It's a season of extraordinary victory. Daniel 7, 18. But the sense of the most high, not the sense of this world, the sense of the most high, not the sense of the kingdom of darkness, the sense of the almighty God. They shall take the kingdom of heaven. They will possess the kingdom of almighty God. Now, forever and ever, the sense of the Muslim, they will possess it because power has been given to them. A special heavenly kingdom character, Holy Ghost character is given to them. All the ancient anointing and grace is given to them to do what? To take the kingdom. They were not taking the kingdom lightly. They were kept taking the kingdom violently. 11, 12 went to front that days of joy and parties. Only today the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. And violently take it by force. I want you to take your freedom violently by force. Take, don't allow that family to remain as it is. Don't allow that marriage. Never you allow that copy. Don't allow your, the, your life to remain as it is if that life is not glorified in heaven. If your life is not yet predestinated, never you allow your family to remain like that. There's no day I do not I do not visit the vision, the pictures on how God, what God is showing me concerning my family and my generation. I always visit it. Hello.